welcome back to channel stage one. I'm Corey Cottle, Scenic Charge here at stage one. I today am really excited. We're going to practice making some stencils, which I do pretty frequently on sets here for stage one, especially because we do a lot of fun cartoony stuff for our set sometimes. So I'm going to show you how we do that a couple of different ways. Um, I'm going to show you one that I did for stage one, a really fun show. Um, and yeah, we'll just go step by step through how to do your own stencils. You can put these on a wall with parental supervision and uh, if they say yes. <laughs> um, you can do this on a piece of furniture, you can do this on pieces of paper, you can do this on pretty much anything. Um, and I'm going to show you, yeah, just an easy way to start and then you can practice and do some more intricate stencils um, once you get that done. So to start, I'm going to tell you kind of about some stencils that I made. My favorite one was for BFG. Stage one did BFG many years ago. Um, and the designer, Carl Anderson, he wanted one of the walls to have wallpaper on it. And he gave me this and said, can we make this wallpaper? And I was like, oh gee, that looks hard. But um, I was really excited because it's a nice challenge. Um, it's pretty intricate, but we decided we could make it a little easier. Um, but what I did was I had this clear film stuff, um, and you can do it with paper, you can do it with thicker cardboard. This just needs to hold up because I had to do a whole wall of it. So um, what I did was I took this, I traced it with my clear paper. I just did some of the outlines of the flowers, the more prominent lines of the stems. Um, I cut it out with an X-Acto knife and I got this. So that is all those shapes. This is all, obviously was used a lot to make that wall. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's different colors here from where I did these different colored flowers. The leaves were green, um, but this one was very hard. But I do actually, luckily for you all, I don't like to throw things away here. Um, this was our end project. Well, a sample of the end project. Um, I showed this to the designer, Carl, and I said, does this look okay? Can I put this on the real walls? And he said, yep, go for it. So that's kind of fun that I didn't throw that away. It's been used to stand on and as a spray paint thing, but that's super fun. Um, so yeah, that's just, just an example of how you can use stencils in theater, which is what I do a lot, um, or just in big, big places, maybe a mural or something like that. Um, so that's a very, very intricate version. You need an X-Acto knife, you need a lot of time and patience. So we're not gonna do that one today. Today we're gonna work on something a lot, a lot simpler, and that is a good old fashioned star stencil. Um, that's just an easy shape. I did really big, but you could do small, you could do a pattern. Um, but basically, yeah, we'll start easy so that you can get the hang of it and then you can go and do whatever you want on some fun stuff. So what I did, I printed out a star. But like I said, it's pretty big. You can do whatever size you want. You could do several of them like this so that you can create a pattern. Um, you just have to make sure everything's spaced out right. So just like I said, for now, we're gonna start easy and just do one big star so that we know what we're doing. Um, this is transparency film. Like I said, you don't have to use this. You can use, um, like I have this thicker paper here. I have some cardboard, cardstock, um, what's the colorful paper, <laughs> construction paper. You can use that. Um, just anything that's just a little bit thicker and will hold up when we go to put paint on it. Um, but this, these are at Staples, and you can get a whole thing of them. You could have just a lifetime of stencils out of this one pack. Um, so I have that. I'm going to place that over my star. And this happens to be the same size, which is helpful. So I'm going to just put that exactly over that. Take some painter's tape. Any tape, scotch tape, painter's tape, masking tape, and you're just going to place it kind of on some of these sides so that your stencil cannot wiggle around on you. I'm going to put two on the 
corners. You just want to, don't get crazy, but you want to make sure it stays in place. And what I'm going to do now, I have, you can use a Sharpie. Um, if you're using paper, you can use anything. You can use a pencil, you can use a crayon. Um, but I use this, um, this is actually a, for this kind of paper, transparency paper, so it actually wipes off if I need to. We don't want it to. Um, but this can be a Sharpie, like I said. So what I'm going to do, make sure that shiny side, your transparency paper is over top, and you're just going to trace whatever it is going to make into a stencil. Just trace that shape out with your permanent marker, crayon, whatever. I missed that line a little bit. Oh, that's okay. It's just a guideline. And again, I had to do all of those crazy flower shapes. It was crazy. Um, then, I might need to let that dry just a second, but you'll take up your painter's tape and you have, voila, a star. So that is the tracing of your star. You can keep this, maybe you have a folder of these kinds of printouts that you can put um, together and that way you have a bunch of stencils for things that you might want to do again one day. So. Now that we have our stencil on our transparency paper, that's a different one, that's okay. So, a pair of scissors, parental supervision, please. <laughs> um, don't just grab a pair of scissors and start going at this because it could be a little difficult. It's a different kind of surface, so just be really careful. But ask your parents for some scissors. And what we're going to do, because this is such a big, easy shape, slippery, easy shape, we're going to just take the middle and do a snip. So now we've not got we've got a good starting place for our cut. So carefully, maybe ask mom and dad for help. Because these are really straight lines, and straight lines are hard. Carefully cut out the star that you've traced. in the shop. So I have this to practice my stencil on, but again, you can use paper like this. Maybe I'll do one on that too to show you that paper works just fine. Um, but anything, whatever you want to practice on, a piece of um, poster board, uh, but you're going to take the tape that you already used that one time because we like to reuse and not waste a bunch of tape. And you're going to tape, uh, it's a, probably a good idea this time to do all four corners so that it stays really well. All four corner. Oop, that stuck up a little bit. There we go. Make sure it's super flat. Now, you're going to choose what color paint you like. I like teal. It's my favorite color. Um, I might do a teal and a blue star. Just have fun. Shake a paint up. There is our teal. And I'm using a a party pail lid. We eat a lot of ice cream here at the shop sometimes. Um, so I've got this laying around. You don't need to have a fancy palette or use your expensive plates. You can use anything that's got a nice plasticky surface. Um, and then I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to use this paintbrush. This paintbrush. This is a big one. This is a chip brush. You can buy these at Lowe's. They're like under a dollar and I use them a lot. Even for fancy stuff I like to use these. So, you're going to take your brush, and this is just the first version. I'll show you, I can, we have a sponge here, um, I'll show you if you wanted to just like trace this, and that way go back and do it with your brush later, but here we go. I'm going to just dab, 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 be careful around those edges so that you don't get up under. I didn't do too much paint, because you can always go back and do a second coat. Um, 
This way it doesn't get crazy and make a mess where you've made your stencil. Spin that out. This is fun. Makes a nice touch. This is some more little textures. If you do it really lightly, that's the great thing about these brushes. They make good texture. So I'm doing kind of like a scumble, stipply texture with my star. So it's not flat. Also, I love teal. All right, the moment of truth. You can, it's probably a better idea to let this dry. Um, but I'm not gonna right now. <laughs> you can take it off wet. You just have to be very careful that you don't smear it or get it touchy in there. I'm gonna take that off very carefully and voila! Look at that! A star! That's really cool. I like those colors a lot. Anyway, so that's, there's your star. And you can do a bunch of those, like I said. If these were smaller, you could do it in like a pattern, you can make your own wallpaper like I did for DFG. Um, again, don't just go painting on your walls. <laughs> Ask mom and dad or whoever you might be living with. Um, so yeah, there is a star. Very cool. Um, I can show you now. So this isn't dry, like I said. Let it dry. Once, if you want to use it again. When I was doing that for stage one's BFG. Um, there, I didn't have time to let it dry, so I just had to be very careful, like I'm about to do, about placing it down again so that it doesn't get on anything I don't want it to. But yeah, once that dries, you just go over it. If you were able to feel this stencil, it is so thick with paint because I did that for days. It's a long process. So now I'm going to show you if you happen to have, maybe you don't have a brush at home, maybe you have a cleaning sponge. It doesn't have to be this kind of sponge. This is a very fancy sponge, um, but it has a good texture. You can use just a square sponge. If you remember the sponge you used for the brick tutorial that Allison did a couple weeks ago, you can use that sponge because um, it's already got paint on it. So what we're going to do, put my paintbrush in water so it doesn't dry up. Please treat your paintbrushes with love. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is show you how I can do this with a sponge. If you don't wanna use a brush, sponge can be a little faster too. So this time I'm gonna start with my teal. And this also helps the brush, like I said, it can kind of get under the stencil. This, because you're just going up and down, is very good at like keeping it cleaner. So I'm just gonna boop, 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 boop. The sound effects, man. We're doing it. This is also easy to do if you want to mix colors. You just kind of pick up your other color as you go and it mixes really well. Mixing is a lot easier to do when the paint is wet. So that's what I always like to do if I think that I want to mix colors up or if I'm doing a wood grain or something that's stony or something. I always do it while it's wet. So I'm going to take that voodoo now. I'm just going to go around the edges, see what that's like. Sponging. It's very calming to me. Okay. Be very calming. Not sunshine. It's not big, so it didn't do just around the edges like I wanted. It kind of did. We'll see. So, again, you want to wash this out as soon as you're done, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to keep playing. So, again, here we go. or something really easy. You can also just like trace. Again, this is wet. <laughs> but if you have a pencil and you wanted to just trace your stencil too, that lets you kind of do 
and your paint later. You can kind of make your pattern first and then come back. And maybe you want to fill them in later. Let's see. This point right. So you, I just traced that with my pencil, the same stencil I've been using, and then I can go back obviously a little more tedious, but it is an option. You just you would need a couple layers of paint because paintbrushes don't cover as well as this thing. And you cannot have had any coffee while you're doing this. Alright, a little more messy because I was rushing. But yeah, that's the other option. You can just fill in your star after you traced it from the stencil. There's just a lot of a lot of options with stencils. Feel 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 free <laughs> to play around. Um, you can do all kinds of colors. You could do this with the sidewalk paint that uh, Allison made. Um, you can do this with, like I said, crayons, markers, anything. Um, Thanks again for watching Channel Stage One. We're making fresh, fun, new content every week. And if you like what you see, you can donate on the link below.